that's terrible. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna talk about skincare today, but before we get into that, I realized that I've been misrepresenting myself on this channel without even realizing it. Basically, I retweeted something today on Twitter that asked people to say how tall they were. And I put my height, which is about six feet tall, and I got a lot of replies being like, why? You're six feet tall? I thought you were 5'8". I thought you were 5'5". Five five. I thought you were 5'4". What? 5'5 five five with these shoulders, child? <laughs> I don't think so. People were saying that I emit like short person energies because I'm like cheerful and loud and aggressive and... <laughs> What is a tall person supposed to act like a birch tree? I've never been short. I don't want to be short. I like being tall. I'm going to show you how far goddamn away I have to be from my camera in order to get a full body shot while remaining in landscape mode. Let's do it. If you say mean things about my room, I'll call the police. Do y'all see this? This regular, regular sized door? Do you see how I'm like the same goddamn height as it basically? Look at this. Will somebody come and look at this? Why do you guys think that I complain about being single all the time? Do you think it's because my personality is bad? Wrong. My personality is sparkly. It's because everyone's afraid of me because I'm a cryptid. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Like, do you see what my huge arms did? Look at this wingspan. Do you see? Look how much space. I need in order to T-pose. Like, what are y'all talking about? I'm sorry for you. The next time y'all accuse me of being short. Go to jail. This how you think I look at the world? Huh? Y'all got me so angry and so steamed up. I'm really about to take another sip of this disgusting beverage. Short. Five. Five. Okay, let's actually talk about what we're here to talk about, which is skin care. People have asked me to make a skincare routine, and I've been hesitant to do it because, one, I already made a skincare routine video like a year ago, but I looked ugly in it, so we're gonna redo it. Two, I have a unique method to my skincare, which is I forget to do it all the time. About four nights a week, I just sort of go to sleep without doing anything to my face. My skin looks nice because of genetics. And I talked about this in my first video, but I'm gonna spend less time talking about it in this one because I've already been through this whole thing. I have my dad's skin. My dad, for his entire life, all right, freaking P, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Had amazing skin. He looked like a wonderful, like shiny candy apple for all of his life. He had amazing skin and I inherited it from him. I have my mother's nose, you know, Viva Armenia and all that, and my dad's skin and my mom's like neuroses and anxiety and fear of heights, you know, mom stuff. I wash my pillowcases with some relative frequency. My diet is horrible. I hate most fruit and I'm weird about vegetables because one time, like five years ago, I was washing a bunch of organic kale and while doing that, a bunch of dead beetles fell out of it. So. so it can't be my diet that's contributing to my wonderful, shiny, perfect skin. It's Shawn Mendes' voice in my blood. You know, like it's it's been here. Maybe she's born with it and yes, she was. But I still take some pride in having a skincare routine that I do feel like targets the things about my skin that I want to target. I wear very, very minimal face complexion makeup every day. If I don't skip it altogether, after sunscreen, I will put on perhaps a pressed or loose translucent or semi-translucent powder using a big fluffy brush. I used to wear pore filling dimethicone primers like the NYX pore filler, the Benefit pore professional, what have you, on a daily basis. If I was going to forego any other face makeup, I would at least put those pore filling primers on, but I haven't really done that for about seven or eight or nine months at this point, just because I've kind of made my peace with whatever grievances I have about my pores. And also I do think that since I've introduced chemical exfoliating into my routine a bit more, my pores have become less apparent in appearance. So that's fun for me. My skincare routine is very minimal. When I remember to do it, it does not take me very long. I feel like it's very like millennial trendy of me to be, you know, careening into chaos at all times. Am I advising you to buy every single product I talk about in this video? Of course not, because I don't have affiliate links with any of these, so it wouldn't benefit me at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> what I do for me is probably not going to work for you, or it might work for you. If you are me out there, why are you me? I'm me. What type of skin does she have? Well, I have always said that I have Sahara dry skin, but I think as I've gotten older, that's actually become less true. I think my skin is a little bit more oily than it used to be. I tend not to get any breakouts. When I do, I will get like little whiteheads or a little like melia at different points of my face. That's happened less often now than it used to when I was like an early 20 something. Now I'm a mid 20 something, which as we all know is incredibly different. On the rare occasion that it's been especially too long since I've washed my brushes, I will get a standard zit somewhere on my face. I actually like the look of acne. Is that weird? I think it looks cute on most people that have acne. I have some issues with texture on my skin. Jesus. There have been times where I've woken up to find little pockets of small texture bumps all over my face. Sometimes this extends onto my neck and upper chest. The two most recent times this has happened, it's because I used some sort of moisturizer or sunscreen or sunscreen moisturizer that wasn't designed for use on the face, on my face. And I've clogged all of my pores at the same time. The way that I solved this is a bit controversial. <laughs> I solved it with a walnut scrub. I know. I'm sorry, skincare twitter. I'm so sorry, but it worked. When the poor clogation is that much, what's worked for me in the past, time and time again, is literally sloughing all of it out there for like two days and then stopping doing that and being very gentle with it and not using any of my chemical exfoliation products at the same time because I don't want to like completely dissolve my skin off, which I know is like very naughty and very bad and skincare Twitter is going to drag me by my edges for that, but I don't care, it worked and I got my skin back. So I'm not saying to do that, I'm just saying that is what worked for me. In general, even though my skin seems like it's becoming a bit more oily as I age, I do prioritize moisturization above most other things because I spend so long with my skin being especially dry. This is the 2% hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. Can you see it? Can you see it? That's Grace Helbig's bit, not mine. I've been using this for several months now. Before I was using this, I was using the Trader Joe's hyaluronic acid, which is right here. It's holding a different skincare ingredient that I'll talk about in a bit. I probably should just do my skin carotene and not have to like explain everything beforehand. Let's just do my skin carotene. It's 6.24 p.m. on a Thursday, so it's essentially bedtime. So the beginning of my nighttime skin carotene is removing the day's makeup. I wear approximately seven coats of mascara every day, so I need something that's going to dissolve my mascara without also dissolving my corneas and without taking four hours and 17 cotton pads to do so. The cotton pads I do use are reusable cotton pads that I got from the Etsy store Cruelty Free Stitch Tree that I have a link in the description. The cleanser that I use is the Paula's Choice Gentle Touch Dual Phase Cleanser. This is the goat, this is the queen. This is maybe the fifth bottle of this I've owned in the past year and a half. This is the only one I'm ever buying again for the rest of my life. So that's that on that on period love. I have experimented in the past with cleansing balms. I don't like them very much because I find most of them make my eyes all foggy. Also experimented with Pond's cold cream, which is not cruelty free. I used it before I was cruelty free. I hate it so much. It's good at getting makeup off, but it also stung my eyes. I will never use coconut oil to remove my eye makeup again. I actually a video from before my channel blew up called a call out for coconut oil where I just complained about how much I hate using coconut oil as a makeup remover. On my birthday haul video in which I talked about the pharmacy cleansing balm and how much I was sort of neutral on it, a lot of people recommended one from a brand called Hamish that I haven't ordered because I forgot about. <laughs> like 17 separate people were like, have you tried this? And it's like, no, if I had, I wouldn't be talking about it in this video, but thank you for the recommendation. Gross. I like to hold my cotton pads against my eye for like 20, 30 seconds. Usually I'm watching a Jenna Marbles video whilst I do this. So the time just like goes by and it's like so gentle on my eyes. Like it's not even a problem. I love this stuff. I highly recommend it. I've never tried a better liquid makeup remover. Here we have like average person. Here, 
egg. So next we come to washing our face. This is the Pacifica Seafoam Cleanser. I generally use Pacifica's Rose Kombucha face wash, which I like a lot better than this one. However, it was sold out the last time I went to Target and one thing I won't do is wait for things. So I just bought this one instead. I'm one of those heathens that washes their face in the morning in the shower, which you know you're not supposed to do. It saves time and I don't like having to clean up a bunch of water from my bathroom counter, okay? I do have time to put on seven coats of mascara, but I don't have time to wash my face correctly. Okay, that's just how I've chosen to break down my time. That's how the cookies of my time have crumbled. You got me? The other face wash I use, this is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Cleanser with 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera. This I bought on a whim like a week and a half ago, so it's not like a super like ingrained part of my skincare routine. I don't use this every single day. It depends on if I have chemically exfoliated my skin with another product the night before. Let's go wash our face. Let me just do a quick change. Ha, ha, ha. That's better. Face washed. Bathroom counter soaked. Pores cleanse. Hotel Trivago. The next step is toning my face. I do that with another Paula's Choice product. This is the Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. I've only been using this for like a month at this point. Prior to this, you know what I was toning with? Unscented Thayer's Witch Hazel, which skincare Twitter told me was bad for me in a very abrasive, non-accommodating way. So many skincare Twitter accounts are like rude for no reason. I'm like, I'm not an esthetician. That's something you did. Why do you have this skincare focused Twitter account if you're gonna be like, y'all still using Witch Hazel? Like, yes, I am. Cause I don't know what the problem is with it. Cause you won't tell me. So I use this now because I was bullied. I, I wasn't bullied, but people like me were bullied. So I'm using the same cotton pad I used for the dual face cleanser. I don't usually do this, but this is the last clean one I have because I really need to do laundry. Like we're approaching bikini bottoms as underwear level. I actually don't do that ever. I've never done that because I'm chubby. So it wasn't socially acceptable for me to wear bikinis until like 2014 anyway. And the only ones I buy are like the super lots of fabric high-waisted ones. <laughs> Cause the only person who can see my stretch marks is me and a very, 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 very small group of other people. My face is the only part of my body that I tone. After we tone, I use my hyaluronic acid. Like I said, I'm currently using the one from The Ordinary. One drop here, take it over the bridge of my nose. One drop there, back over the nose and then back in the bottle. Making sure that moisture is locked into my skin. Bring it onto my neck because I'm not trying to look like a turkey in five years. Sometimes if I'm not wearing a t-shirt to bed, I bring it onto my clavicle, but that's just a sexy little secret between me and my mirror. On days when I didn't exfoliate in the shower in the morning with the glycolic cleanser, I will do it at night with this, which is the lactic acid 10% from The Ordinary. I'm not gonna use this tonight because I've already exfoliated and I don't wanna overdo it. I don't even know if that's how exfoliation works. I'm just, I'm just here. I don't know. Y'all asked me to do this, so I'm doing it. What do we do next? We put on our night moisturizer. This one I talked about in my summer favorites video, which may have been my last video. I don't even know anything about my own channel. This is the Trader Joe's Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Really should stop launching the lids of my skincare onto my laptop, but whatever. It only took $700 to fix it the last time it broke, so I'm sure it's fine. So that's pretty much my skincare routine. I will do this and then I will go to sleep. Where does this deviate? In the mornings, what I do in the morning. What do you do in the mornings, Nisa? Well, everything is the same up to and including the hyaluronic acid serum. Then instead of the Trader Joe's moisturizer, I do some sunscreening moisturizers. This is the Jack Black Double Duty Face Moisturizer that I talked about in my summer favorites video. I quite like it, I've used it for like five years. I use like about three pumps of this in the mornings. And then I follow that up with the Crave Beauty Beat Shield sunscreen. And that's the entirety and extent of my morning skincare. Do I use masks? That's a great question, Nisa. Thank you, other Nisa. Not really. <laughs> I have this mask that I bought in a complete whim from CVS from Yes2. It's the Yesta Tomatoes Detoxifying and Hydrating White Charcoal Mud Mask, but I haven't used it in a while and I don't really find that it does much for me. I also have the Indian Healing Clay Bentonite Mask, but I haven't used it in like six or so months because it's a huge goddamn hassle to make. Like you gotta like put it in a bowl and then get a spoon and like put water or honey or apple finger vinegar. And it's like, I don't have six hours to prepare a face mask, okay? Like I have things to do. I have dumplings 
to make. I have pictures of Chris Evans to download onto my computer desktop. I have recipes to think about making before inevitably opening up Grubhub. Like I'm busy. I'm doing things. I have tweets to read. Like it's fine. I have hot takes to tweet and I have hot cakes to eat. Oh my God. Wait, I have hot takes to tweet and hot cakes to eat. Why am I like, Literally, it's so good that I'm in business school. Like, the world needs my ideas. So this is my nighttime face. Let's, like, review the look. This is her. This is what she looks like. This is my skin. These are my eyebrows. This is my forehead. That's a different shade of brown than the rest of my face. We love an individual. Oh, I have a thing. Wife! Would you like to come in and plug your podcast for the video? Okay. Okay. So, as you guys know, um, this is my roommate who you're all in love with for some reason. Maybe I don't want to be in your video. Why not? Because <laughs> you just said for some reason. <sighs> I'm just being a Pisces. You can't help it. I can't, unfortunately. We all have flaws, except for Evie, because she's perfect, <laughs> I guess. Or like, whatever. So, <laughs> <laughs> the reason I've called in this beautiful siren is because she has a podcast that I would like you to listen to, but more so than listen to like it on Facebook. You don't actually have to listen to it, you just have to like it. You can read it and leave a review. You can leave a review also. <laughs> on the iPod. Is there an Apple? No! <laughs> this is my mother. Um, thank you for taking your time out of your schedule to visit us from 2005 on the iTunes. Apple <laughs> on the Apple Podcast app. That's what I meant. The Apple Appcast Pod. Perfect. My podcast is called Where Did It Come From? Where Did It Go? And me and my other best friend, Anna, talk about. Uh, Oops. My other best friend. Okay, so actually, <laughs> never mind. So we do, one of us talks about like an invention that we use today and where it came from, and the other one talks about something that we stopped using, and we talk about where it went and why we stopped using it. We've covered bikinis, bras, and corsets, contact lenses. We've covered the wooden swimsuit. We've covered flying cars. Uh, Mothman? We will cover Mothman. <gasps> but so it's very exciting, and obviously you're all already in love with her, as we saw in the comment section of my drunk video. Why don't you guys put up or shut up and like the podcast on Facebook and review it in the Apple Podcast app and listen to it. It is also on Spotify. It's also on Spotify. Stitcher. Stitcher. Podbean, which is apparently the Android. Podbean, which is apparently the Android podcast, podcast app. app. So, okay, you can leave now. Okay. I'm gonna buy ice cream. What kind do you want? <gasps> Are you buying Ben and Jerry? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I, get, can I get New York super fudge chunk? Okay. 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 Bye. 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 So anyway, back to what's important, me. Um, <laughs> so that's the skincare routine. If I missed anything, which I probably didn't because I used like five products, let me know. If you have any further questions, let me know. If you would like my skin, my address is 123 YouTuber Lane in Los Angeles, California, and you can come and take it from me. But not without a fight. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for watching my video, but before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be incredibly moisturizing and very refreshing. Oh, speaking of which, sometimes I finish off my routine with a spritz or two. Sometimes I use things like the Glossier Rose Water because of course I do. Mm -hmm. Emily Weiss's tears. Ugh. Now that I'm dewier than Julia Mazzucato's dreams. If you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Nisi Pisa. You can also check out my second channel, Extra Nisi Pisa, where I post music and covers like once a month, linked in the description. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to use code Nisi Pisa for 10% off at checkout at your local poor store. Bye! Ow! You okay? I hurt my finger with my fan being theatrical. Oh no. It's okay. I love drama.